Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the free Adobe Express image editing and image creation software. Okay, let's go over to the Microsoft Start menu here. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to go to the search bar and type in store, S-T-O-R-E. That allows us to access the Microsoft Store. So we'll click on that. This is going to load up. So here's the Microsoft Store. You can go and check out loads of apps in here. So most people use Android Store or the Apple Store. Very few people use the uh, Microsoft Store. So I would suggest that you go and have a look at it. There's quite a few interesting things in here uh, that you're probably missing out on. So one of them that I found is Adobe Express. So type in Adobe Express and then you can see the software here. Right at the top, you can click on it and it will give you more details about it. You can have a little look through it. But I'm going to click the install button here, install. So I'll click that. It's going to download the software and it's going to install it on my computer then we can simply click the open button or we can go back to the start menu and if we scroll down we'll see the software here as well so let's click the open button and and basically right now i'm logged into my adobe account right so i have photoshop i have all the other software as well but i thought i'd download and install this as well to see what it's like um so the first screen that you normally see is a screen asking you to either register or log in via your social media so you can log in using your facebook account for example or you can create an adobe account if you choose to do that so when we look at the software you can see there's lots of different options in here right there's tons and tons of different options uh, to create different types of content you can create instagram stories facebook posters logos there's lots of different things even album covers youtube thumbnails might be quite interesting menus uh, invitations resumes just lots and lots and lots of different types of uh, content and they're all pre-made templates a lot of this is pre-made so a good example let's say i run a youtube channel and i create a thumbnail i can click here and if you're running out of ideas or you're experimenting with youtube and you see like what thumbnails are working better for me you can go ahead and click on here and you can see the different styles of thumbnails and you just keep scrolling and there's loads and loads and it just loads more more and more thumbnails like you've got like freelance one here for example it was quite interesting lots of different options in here for you to um experiment with so let's see what else we can find in here so you know the thumbnails some of them are not the best to be honest but um they're okay they're a good starting place so if you wanted to start let's find something like this nice and simple right how to use sunprint kit whatever it might be so you can click in here then you can double click on the text and you can change that text to something else so we might just type in adobe let's type into here adobe express then you can click on the text below free well, let's just put a tutorial right you can click on it and you can manipulate the text change the text uh, you can set up the alignment so you can change the alignment of the text as well you can drag it and reposition it and then it will snap to the center so it's quite nice that it will snap to the center you can even click on the little lines and adjust those if you want to adjust them you can click on the background i believe let's see here's the background let's see if we can change this background somehow uh, let's try let's see so we can choose solid color, delete, replace. If we click replace, I'm just curious. Uh, let's see. I haven't used this software that much, but let's let's click this one here. So let's see. Let me delete that layer. Let's delete that one. So we've got a plain background here choose solid color choose image let's click choose image and let's uh let's see what this one looks like so here we can change the background right something a bit more uh, eye-catching there's lots of different ones and if you want to select a certain background like featured free you can click more and you can see more images in here so you might just pick something quite interesting something like this might be nice right just as an example and then you can zoom in and out here so if you can't see everything clearly you can zoom in and out and then you just want to uh, we can close this that's pretty good we can click here you can do like animations and stuff um, 
that text animation so if you want to create a little video because when you click download let's just click on this um this text here let's see this in fact let's click outside let's go animate typewriter dynamic flicker uh see so now look the text flickers you can do like dynamic you can have it typed in so if you want to create a little video or something like this when you go to um you can like select these different uh options in here so you can have like movement stuff like this so you can play around with it let's just close the animation let's actually set it to none close this and then you can go to download you can actually download it as a different file format depending on what you want so let's say jpeg and click start download let's just close the microsoft store uh, download let's do uh, I think it's still in here let's see uh, download JPEG and then we can drag and drop that onto my desktop then we should have a YouTube thumbnail uh, created and that should be 1280 by 720 which is what it is right so that's that's you know just an example of using this software but there's so much more that you can do it's really down for you to go and experiment you can click this back arrow and that takes you back to the um, project here you can click the plus sign you can see lots of different options in here depending on what you want to do you can even like trim videos create pdfs there's just so much stuff in here uh, you can even build web pages i believe so you know you can create a little web page here it's it's almost overwhelming the amount of like, options in here uh, i don't know what adobe express schedule is let's have a look i'm not actually use this let's get your social channels connected once connected, your scheduled post will automatically publish to your social channel. So that's quite interesting. You can like do um, scheduled posting as well. There's like a learning section in here teaching you how to use the software, like moving backgrounds and doing certain tasks. Um, you can upload your brand here as well, and you can use your brand. So like this clean call, if, if there's an option to maybe create a business card or something, you can have your logo here and then import that into your, your project as you're creating it. So there's just lots of stuff in here uh, it's almost overwhelming the amount of options in here it's just quite a lot but if you want to do something quite specific like create your Instagram post and and so forth or create a logo you can do collages there's lots of lots of useful um, options in here you can click image then it will show you the image options uh, you can click video then you can see all the video options in here uh, there's PDF creation as well you can create QR codes like generate a QR code um you can type in the url here let's see the style let's do dots right you can download the uh, file type is always going to be probably a transparent png and you just type in your website address there and generate the code so let's just see https colon double backslash dcp web.co.uk click create and then you can see that will be the qr code you can download it you can add that to your email signature you could add it to a business card you can do lots of different things with a qr code put on a poster for example right so i'm going to leave you to go and experiment otherwise i'll probably be here for the next three hours going through all of the options in here there's just way too much but it's pretty um it's quite interesting right and it's free so go and have fun let's close this down that's the end of this tutorial showing you how to install free adobe express which will help you to create content. You can also manipulate images using this software as well. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.